Hello dear ones. Well, today I'm going to speak about the three main keys of understanding a Scorpio. Well, the first one is understanding that when they sting, they sting hard, right? My dear Scorpio, when you sting, you sting hard. <laughs> but behind that sting, there is a deep hurt and there is a deep concern and there is deep love. This is what I've seen with Scorpios. When they sting, they really, it's like, it's harsh, right? Very bluntly, you can cut into things. But then it is because inside of you, you have been deeply, deeply hurt by something. Yeah. And uh, I've also seen that a Scorpio will never hurt without reason. It's not that style at all. It's not for fun. Because Scorpios are extremely hypersensitive. So we need to understand first that they are hypersensitive, they sense a lot of things, they feel deeply, they feel very, very deeply. And hence, when they feel deeply hurt, they will attack with this thing. And that attack will be deeper also. And that time we need to understand is that because they love someone, because usually they hurt people whom they love also, the closest people can be hurt by the Scorpio because they love them. And when they feel hurt by some gesture of theirs, something that they have done, then the Scorpio will sting. But it is not just to cause you pain. It is because they are in deep pain because of that. That pain that ha has taken place in their life because of that particular person. And they are in deep pain. And because of that, they will sting you back in order to make you feel the need of transformation also. And that attack, basically, when a Scorpio attacks you, he triggers, he or she triggers the transformation process inside an individual. That is how the Scorpio works. You need to understand that. It is out of love, out of concern. The deeper the love, the deeper the concern is, the deeper the attack of the Scorpio becomes towards that person that has been attacked at that time also. The closest people, okay? I'm speaking about the closest people over here. So we need to understand that sting is actually the hurt of uh, unreciprocated sentiment that they have given so much out of devotion that hurt makes them hurt back okay we need to understand that second key to understand the scorpio the silence scorpios love to just become silent yeah we take it as passive aggressive my dear scorpios you don't know that but your silence you're just going back into your cave, into your shell. That solitude that you so much seek, that company with yourself. We look at it as indifferent behavior. But actually, that's not so. And we are so wrong when we see it like that. Because actually that silence is about the pain the Scorpio goes through. I've noticed that. That deep silence, sometimes silence for years from a Scorpio, is because of the deep pain that they are going through. They are healing something inside of them. They, they heal something deeply, deeply inside of them. And it's, it's so painful for them. It's just like, um, for example, in any, it's an animal instinct, I would say that uh, Scorpios have this inside of them. Because have you seen an animal in pain? When an animal is in pain, it stays quiet and silent and it retreats. It uh, distances itself from everything and everyone and they go away and they want to be alone. And likewise, the Scorpio is. When the Scorpio is in pain, the Scorpio has been hurt inside in order to heal that, now this is a painful transformation that a Scorpio goes through. And so the Scorpio retreats, goes into their dark place of introspection, 
that space, that darkness, I'm saying it's darkness because what do they do? They just switch off the lights means they don't want anybody around at that time. They will just, they will just come and they will just find their own little place, cut off from everyone and sit there, not speak a word, no social media, nothing, nothing. They will just retreat. They go into the hermit mode, I would say. But this hermit mode is a very painful mode. Because at that time, what is happening is that we are seeing them that, oh, the Scorpio is not speaking to me. Or oh, the Scorpio is completely being indifferent, is not answering my messages, is not, you know, uh, wanting to meet me, is not taking my phone calls. But actually, the Scorpio is going through a lot of pain inside. Is going through a lot of transformation because of a certain thing that has happened in their life. And actually the Scorpio is dying and at the same time is rebirthing in this process of solitude. In this solitude, in this silence, the Scorpio goes through that. And it's a painful process. Many a times it's a painful process which the outside world doesn't see. But the Scorpio struggles alone with themselves because they are trying to understand, first of all, why me? Secondly, why all this had to happen, what went wrong, what went right, what was my fault, then going through, sometimes going through the guilt trips, sometimes feeling that revenge, that anger on somebody, and then how to deal with it inside also. So all this is, you know, just playing inside the Scorpio's mind, body and soul. The soul suffers a lot at that point of time. We don't know why this person is being so silent, why this person is not returning my calls. And we assume a lot of things, but you need to understand, my dear ones, if you're dealing with the Scorpio, this is their way to heal themselves. Because if they are next to you in that kind of a phase, they might hurt you even more because... They are going through a lot of pain inside. Imagine you are wounded completely and somebody is around you. So sometimes, you know, that pain, you feel like, you just feel like throwing it out on somebody. And this is what happens with the Scorpio. They just become silent. They will become cold so that this is their way of protecting themselves. You have to understand that also. Cold, silent. They make a kind of a wall around them of ice and nicely they sit inside that and they go through that painful agony that fire that is inside burning them and then they go to the ash stage this is where the phoenix rises as i've explained in my scorpio video personality video this is where they go through that process of burning themselves to ashes and then once they have seen it all once they have come to the conclusion that what is the reason that is responsible for this and how am I supposed to heal myself? And when they heal themselves, then they rise back with the double strength. So this is the second key to understand a Scorpio. The third key is trust. They seek trust. Scorpios, I have seen, it's very difficult for a Scorpio to trust someone. They, you cannot become a friend of a Scorpio just like that. You will be put through lots of tests before because they seek trust and I wanted to dig deeper to see why is it so difficult for a Scorpio to open and the Scorpio speaks about everything. Generally speaking, wow, I feel you're very friendly, but no, 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 no. Don't get carried away, my dear ones, if you're related to a Scorpio. They are speaking everything and anything, but their deeper, the deepest things that lie inside of them. And why does it happen? Why don't they open up? Because throughout their lives, their back, if you see, has a lot of backstab marks. They have been backstabbed by n number of people, especially those closest to them. Maybe their best friend, maybe their partner, maybe their colleagues, maybe their friends, very close friends who have backstabbed them. And what happens is that for a Scorpio, after so many backstabs, rather after few backstabs that take place into their life at the very beginning of their lives or in the middle of their lives, normally it starts very early, what happens is that they 
lose trust in people. And then because of that, the third key is that they always seek trust. And that trust only can come into the Scorpio's heart is when they have tried and tested you. So they will put you into lots of tests also before they really, really, you know, want to do something seriously with you. When it comes to a relationship, for example, they will be jolly, they will be very friendly. But you have to know that now the Scorpio has grown very mature with all those backstabs that have taken place in their lives since so early in their lives. That has been sometimes the parents also let down their trust. In extreme cases, I have seen that. And that's so painful to see because this, this soul that is so deep, this soul that has gone through births and deaths and births and deaths, continues to seek for trust. This is what I saw. Very difficult for Scorpios to trust someone immediately. But when they trust you, they trust you, right? They really, really trust you at that time and then you should not let them down because that will be really then, then we go to the first uh, thing that I mentioned, the sting comes back, okay? So here you need to understand, my dear ones, is that Scorpio seeks understanding because the Scorpio is now at a junction of life after getting all those backstabs that they cannot just go on the words. They cannot just go on what is seen. They will go for what you are doing for them and how much you're doing for them honestly and devotedly. They seek trust. You say everybody seeks trust, but especially the Scorpios have seen, especially they seek trust because they somehow in this role of a Scorpio in this lifetime that they are living right now, they have to go through all these things, yeah, because it's a house of death, right? And this is where this death also involves for them those backstabs that come in their lives. And then for them, they have to go for the real gold. And the real gold is trust for them. And mind you, when the Scorpio trusts you, well, you have earned the gem of a person. I would say you have earned the most beautiful heart on this earth. Who will be there? Who will give his or her life for you and be there? But if you break that trust, my dear ones, once again, like, they have had all those experiences, then I would like to tell you then the Scorpio is not going to spare you. Not going to spare you in the sense you lose a loving heart. It will be your emotional loss at that particular time. So many times people have misjudged the Scorpios, I feel. The Scorpio has been the most misjudged sign of the zodiac. So much of... Uh, Thing has been said about the Scorpios. Well, everything is not wrong, but I really wanted to see why do they behave the way they are behaving? Because behind that, there is love. There is the need of that unblemished relationship, that devotion, that loyalty. And once you can deal with this, my dear ones who are potential partners of Scorpios or who are dealing with the Scorpio, then you will see that um, Scorpio is only pure love, I would say, deep love, deep love, I would say, very, very deep love. And uh, you will learn a lot from the Scorpio. They will have a lot to tell. Go and sit with your child who is a Scorpio also and sit and speak for hours with them and you will come out completely with a, another perspective on life completely. Just listen to your Scorpio son or daughter. Just listen to them and see what they say. Those misunderstandings bring misjudgment to a very wonderful transforming sign of the zodiac. So thank you my dear ones for listening. Thank you dear Scorpios for listening and um, 
I would like you to list down some com in the comments also some of the things uh, that you feel are the keys of dealing with you all because uh, these are just the three main keys but there are n number of keys available and I want you also to list some of the keys here down in my comments and please do like share and comment and share it with those who are dealing with the Scorpios also. Thank you very much, my dear ones, for listening. And I'll see you next time. Stay blessed always. God bless. Bye-bye. God bless. Bye.